Just Cause Shop Video Game Review. You are a CIA agent sent to the fictional country of San Esperito to take out its ruthless dictator, the ever elusive Mendoza. And the, the basic gist of it is Grand Theft Auto with extreme sports. You can parasail, base jump, and you know, you can usually fire a gun no matter where you are, whether you're flying, parachuting down, running. The shooting mechanics are much better than those of at least Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City, which are as far as I've played in the Grand Theft Auto franchise so far. And when it's at its best, it's exciting, fun, and very varied. But it is sadly also very clearly rushed. There are several noteworthy bugs, including some fairly frequent crashes. And once you've completed the game, there is nothing left for you to do. There is no money system, so progress is literally seen through just rising through the ranks of the Rioja cartel and the guerrillas that you aid in, and they aid you in your, in, in the coup. And though it took me 33 hours to complete all the main missions and reach the highest level of those two groups, if you don't care about reaching the two groups, I'm told you can complete the main missions in five hours, which is obviously underwhelming. But yeah, there's not much to explore, too much of the island is jungle and sea, as others have noted. And while this does take some, take some, you know, different approaches to some of the things, there's, for example, no prison. You don't have unlimited ammo, but it is easy enough to refill your ammo and get more health. Some of these are at least partially interesting, but unfortunately they do also take away some of the challenge. Such as, you don't really have to put in a lot of effort to get a lot of ammo before a mission. You just go to a safe house and there you go. The game has a lot of awesome things to it. You get to use basically every type of vehicle, cars, motorcycles, boats, at least one submarine, helicopters and planes, and all of those come armed, except maybe the submarine and motorcycle. And, you know, even though the helicopters and planes are much easier to come by, and, and boats, than Grand Theft Auto, at least 3 in my city, they are also rather useful and they will be met in kind by the police and military. If you take an Apache helicopter into an enemy base on, on a mission or what have you, you may be faced with other Apache choppers and or tanks. And the same goes for if you go in with a tank. And given that there are a lot of cliffs, flying makes a lot of sense, and the, the large area also makes the fast planes quite useful, and the ability to always, in, always engage the parachute makes landing much less necessary than, than in real life. And given the, the plentiful sea, sometimes it makes more sense to sail to your destination than drive. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.